going on guys we are here today with another sh uh, smoke on an SPL match today and this time we have roses versus blast chance I've been meaning to catch a new game so I happened to get home just in time to catch this match so roses led off with the scyther got a u-turn off on the uh, mag mortar and then he went into his Hariyam and caught a fire blast <clears throat> and Hariyam just knocked off this is the scyther's evil light so this is where we're at right now. So we know that the Scyther's um, not banded or... So, so we know it's not banded, of course. So, you know, it's SD, U-Turn, Aerial Lace. And I, I'm not sure what the last move would be. But we kind of figure out what it said it would be. I'm guessing... He can go to his uh, Rotom. I'm not sure what Omastar's role is in this tier, honestly. I've never seen an Omastar used. Um, so he does go into Omastar. Maybe it's defensive. It could be his stealth rocker. And I'm guessing he has the Claydol. Well, just looking at teams right now, he has Claydol for rapid, since rapid spin support for the Scyther. Since it is quad weak to rocks. And his team doesn't really appreciate it much, honestly, besides Hariyama. So the Scyther does reveal to have Baton Pass over... Um... <coughs> over... U-turn. So that means it's probably going to be SD Pass to maybe like a Sock or a Rhyhorn. Or right on maybe to like late game sweep with that so i don't know jambad's a big advocate of uh double dance right on which it does put in a lot of work so last chance does baton pass to the shiftery most likely he will switch out i'm guessing hariyama would come out here as uh, i don't think uh shiftery has any coverage move that could hit hariyama very well so he goes into the scyther instead of risking the knockoff that's why i think he would go into the the uh, Scyther there and Sucker Punch might be able to kill this thing at this range but um, if he has he most likely has Roost so I'm guessing that's what he's gonna do here anyways so I can see Blast Chance pulling a double out of here because he doesn't have to Sucker Punch and if he does Sucker I mean he doesn't have to attack the Shift Tree he could just Roost up here and if the Shift Tree does it like to stay in yeah I didn't think he was gonna stay in there so he does do the Roost and right on just pretty much counters this thing and his best rock switch in is, I guess Claydol can come in, can check the ride on pretty well since it has Levitate. And it is ground psychic, so it resists, um, it does resist its rock stab. So Roses just U-turns out to his Amistar on the ride on, which is going to force it out. I'm, like I said, I'm guessing, I don't remember if Claydol carries, they run rapid spin and rocks. I'm pretty sure this Amistar is his rocker. And he's probably going to get this chance up to get our rocks now. And since uh, Blast Chance does have the Mantine on his side, I can uh, suspect, suspect that the Shift Tree is not his Defogger. It's most likely just going to be Mantine, as he does go into the Mantine now. So he's probably just going to defog away the rocks that he just set up. <laughs> so that's unfortunate for him. Um, but that helps out. But they both don't really want rocks on. Rocks annoy the, the uh, Sock. You don't want to break it sturdy if you can keep sturdy with the sock it's always good to keep as roses just pulls a double into the sinatra as uh last chance actually just skulls there so that's a good play skull is pretty free nothing really wants to get burned nothing switches in on it too well especially if the his septile is um physical instead of special so we can see a that 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 skull did quite a bit so i'm guessing this is like an offensive rotom instead of like a defensive one so I want to see leftovers um he's kind of in a predicament here so I'm guessing he's gonna be like a choice a choice the Ronan probably choice Garf um uh, he could try to volt switch but if he goes to ride on here so he goes to shift tree instead so he just goes for discharge okay so maybe he's not scarf because I think he if he'd run Thunderbolt instead Maybe it's just that Rotom is also pretty weak because I haven't used Rotom either, so I'm not too sure on the calcs on it. But Shiftry is back in, and uh, I think he just knock off here again. He doesn't lose much by knocking off or or leaf storming. So let's see what he goes for. He goes for another knockoff, and that does a lot to the Ariyama, which is a Salt Vest. Um, I'm guessing he Blast Chance might want to switch out because I do think Ariyama gets what Fake Out. And bullet punch close combat knockoff so I think the combination of fake out BP might kill but if knockoff did 36 yeah I mean if he does like to stay in 
if he's gonna take a fake out and then go to sucker punch he probably might die to life for it so he pulls the switch into the mantine as he went for bullet punch i'm guessing he doesn't have fake out then i'm not sure why you would build a punch there I guess, i'm guessing i'm guessing that uh sucker punch didn't kill at that range which it probably could have if it's a knockoff did 36. but the mantine is back in and he pretty much gets a free scald um like I said, Rose's team doesn't really appreciate it, but he just selects to go for the air slash. I thought Skull was pretty free there, but it, I, I didn't think he would switch in Sceptile, because Sceptile is a really great mod late game. So I didn't think there was a chance that Rose's would uh, risk his Sceptile there. So they wrote, the Rotom is back in on the Mantine, um, which is a pretty tough position, like I said again. He's kind of like... <laughs> maybe he's not even choice, because like, I said he did, he did have a Discharge. So I'm guessing he's, um, I'm not sure what the Rotom is. So let's see what he likes to do here. So he goes for the Volt Switch here. Um, not a ride on inside. It has a free switch. And uh, no rock resist. I mean, I guess, I guess the Clay. We can see Clay all come out here. It might be able to take it. But like I said, this doesn't have to be Double Dance. Because he does have Stealth Rocks. He does have, uh, yeah, he did reveal Stealth Rocks. So it doesn't have to be Double Dance or anything like that. So you might, you might see a Mega Horn coming out here. I think a Mega Horn's a fine play, or um, Mega Horn or just a Stone Edge. Really, Stone Edge hits everything. Mega Horn hits the Clay Doll a bit harder. As uh, Roses does go into the Roses, I mean Rose Gold is Roses. Roses Gold and Clay Doll, and he pulls a double to the Mag Mortar. Um, I'm pretty sure this Mag Mortar is uh, a Soul Vest. It wasn't Scarf, and I know Soul Vest is the best set to run down here. So I'll. Let's see, I'm pretty sure it's faster. I don't know if he'll be able to kill. Um, I think it has Grass Knot or HP Grass. I, I doubt that would kill. He goes for Fire Blast. Um, that does a good amount. As Roses just goes for the Rapid Spin. So Claydol, Claydol, Claydol going down pretty much means <laughs> Rhydon doesn't really have a great switch into it anymore. It's just free to spam rock moves. Like nothing really wants to come in. Like whenever Scyther comes in, it's gonna pretty much get a kill. <laughs> But he did get the rocks out of his side. Um, that fire blast did quite a bit. I mean, he could be, um, he could be like specs maybe. But I don't know the spread for Clay Doll, so I can't even say. Oh, what? How do you go first? Oh, Custap. Oh, Savage. <laughs> Custap Clay Doll. I was like, how the hell did he go first? So the Mag Mortar goes down. Rose is the boss. <coughs> Uh, I haven't been able to watch much in you, but I've been uh, Rose has been playing very well lately, and I'm very happy that I got the chance to actually catch this match here. Uh, one second, I'll pause it. All right, back. Literally dying. I think some water, but that was pretty nice. I didn't see that cuss that <laughs> cuss that clade all going down, but there was no item. I, I wasn't really paying attention much much attention to that. So the sock comes out, and the septile is in. Um, I'm assuming it'd be Scarf, otherwise I didn't think he'd bring it in immediately like this. Um, so, typically it's cl uh, Sock sets are normally what? Close Combat, Sin Headbutt, Earthquake, and maybe Ice Punch? Maybe, I mean it depends. It depends on the set, but mo the most common ones are Knock Off, Earthquake, and Close Combat. You don't really need the runs in headbutt, I don't think. But uh, let's see what he goes for. He just goes straight for the close combat, and that doesn't even kill the almost star. Holy! So I'm guessing this is definitely scarf then, because that did not. There's no way this thing would live a choice bandit, a choice bandit hit. So maybe he's like scarf adamant, possibly. But then again, I don't think almost star is almost star that bulky. I don't even think almost star is that damn bulky. Almost star definitely butchered his name I see pretty he's got some great defensive stats actually 125 so uh, roses just pivots into the the, the um, into the scyther uh, I mean that doesn't really help him much I, I guess he, he can just u-turn now I guess actually that, that's a good play because he can just u-turn now because the right on is definitely coming out and if he doesn't go to right on it doesn't matter what he goes into uh u-turn is a fine play here close combat's not gonna do much um and 
if he is Scarf, he should go before the Scyther. And he's going to lower his defenses even more. So we should see a U-turn here. And yeah, he does go for the U-turn. I said that was fine because he does have another Fighting Resist and a Rotom Wash. So that's why U-turn was a fine play there. So Scyther is pretty much gone at this point. And uh, I guess we can see what's, what this thing is. So it does reveal that the, the Sceptile is special as it goes for HP Fire. So if he gets rid of the... Okay, so he goes into Mantine here. Um, so yeah, I guess that's going to force the Sceptile out. I'm not sure if Giga Drain can kill this thing. I think these are... I'm not sure if they're physically defensive or specially defensive down here. But I'm guessing Giga Drain or Leaf Storm doesn't kill this thing at this range. I would think Leaf Storm would kill this thing at, at around this range. Because he can literally win this game with Sceptile. And I can see Blast Chance coming through with a combination of Sock and... Um, and right on winning this winning the match too so it's gonna be very interesting to see who can pull this through um, um, the shift tree is pretty low and if it takes rocks because um, I guess I don't think he would defog here and risk him attacking just get rid of rocks like I mean rocks are helpful for him but he still has the Amistar in the back which I'm not he might be able to get rocks up on the Mantine if it's faster um, and he could even get it up on the ride on too, so I don't think Defog is a priority for Blast Chance at this moment. I think he would just go directly for the Air Slash to get rid of this thing. So he goes for, is it HP? What's his HP? Oh, Mirror Code. Ooh. What was that? Was it? It had to be Electric, right? Electric. Rock. It was super effective on Scyther too, so I'm guessing it was Hidden Power Rock then. Hidden Power Rock. Um, I think he should have checked to see if um, Leaf Storm would have killed or Giga Drain instead of Hidden Power Rocking there. I don't know about that play. Huh. But the Sceptile goes down, and that's huge for Blast Chance, as he's pretty much a step closer to winning with with uh, his sock I believe and I, I expect um, Rhydon to just come out here and just click I think they run Rock Blast down here so if he does have that just click Rock Blast um, if he wants to get rocks up I guess he can get rocks up too but I, I definitely see him go for the kill and at this point I'm thinking that Blast Chance is just going to be able to wrap this game up <coughs> they're saying Rock Polish I don't think he'd be Rock Polish with Stealth Rocks. If you're gonna be Rock Polish, should be Rock Polish SD. Who knows? Maybe he's an innovator because he did have Mirror Coat, <laughs> uh, Man Time, which is not common. Because <laughs> the Skull Air Slash Defog, um, it doesn't get recovery. So maybe I'm not, I forget what his last move would be. But uh, yeah, the Mirror Coat definitely caught him off guard. Um, I, I would like to calc it, but. I don't want to miss miss anything trying to calc, but he's, Roses is taking his time at the moment. Um, rock record. What the hell is that? Bob Dill it is. So he just goes for the roost here. And Rock Blast misses. Um, so what are you going to do now? <laughs> yeah, it's like a last ditch effort there because he can't roost now. Um, something's going to die. So he is able to get a U-turn damage off on the ride on, and he's just gonna click Rock Blast here, and uh, this might be able to, if he gets okay. So he gets a good three hits, um, so that's good for Roses here. So he's kind of forced not to let this thing die. Um, I mean, if Sark has uh, Stone Edge, or let's see, what Scyther at? Scyther's at full. Yeah, he can't afford to let that die. So he just goes for Ice Beam, kills off the Shift Tree. Um, I, I don't think Roses can pull his back. Maybe if he can get a, um, if he doesn't have, if he's not running Stone Edge on the Sock, maybe he can pull his back with Scyther and Omastar, but he needs to keep Omastar alive. So I'm guessing, I can definitely see him sacking Rotom here. I think he needs to keep Omastar alive. I mean, if Rotom has a way to touch the ride on, then I think he might sack the Omastar here. But if not, like I said, I, I see him definitely sacking Rotom here. OK, 
Okay, so he has knockoff. Um, yeah, Scyther comes out. Um, I guess here is a 50 50 because uh, if he stays in on the air slash, he dies, but he can U turn on the ride on switch and go to Omen Star here. So, here's the thing. Um, because Sock's not going to be able to kill the Scyther at all. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what these guys do. So, it's, it ends up being a lot closer than we expected. Um, if he would have got that fourth hit or the fifth hit on the Rock Blast, this would have been a uh, Blast Chances game. But um, So, now he has to decide whether Roses is going to U-turn and just stay in and knock off and kill the Omastar. Or if Roses is just going to Aerial Lace. So Blast Chance just switches out. Let's see. Oh, and Roses U turn. So Roses comes through with the 50 50. So now he could just Waterfall. Or I'm guessing this thing has Scald. And uh, if he saves right on. So now Blast Chance is in a pretty bad position. Because if this thing does have Scald, which I think it does, uh, he does risk the chance of a Sock getting burned. And. Uh, if he, he needs the the right on to take care of the oh it's faster and he gets the third hit oh, okay I didn't know I didn't think I didn't think Omastar was that slow so never mind scratch all that the Ohm, the right on was faster for some reason than Omastar so he's just gonna knock off maybe if he gets a dodge here nope that's not gonna happen so Blast Chance is gonna be able to take this game away um I I didn't expect his Omastar to be that slow I thought Rose was in a prime position to win this match. But uh, Blast Chance is still able to come through. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.